DJ Vic Vapor back with you again. So a couple more things I want to discuss in our note editor here. And we'll start with uh, these two buttons right here. Let me get some of this out of the way here. Okay, so. This little guy right here. is a micro editor. Just gonna, let me open this up a little bit. So when you see it, when I turn this uh, snap to semitones grid off and turn over uh, the toggle expression for the micro editor, now you'll see in my notes I have a little line here which I can manipulate. I can drag it up here. Sorry about that. So we can we can drag it up here. Can even add additional points and bend it here. So this is micro editing within the note itself. And I can do this on an individual basis just by grabbing this guy right here. Come up with some pretty unique uh, sounds this way as well. So moving on, a couple more things I want to talk about. And one of those is layered editing. So we open up the layered editing section. We can see all the tracks that we have available at once in one place. So I've got the chords here. Let me get rid of this nonsense. Don't need that for now. We've got the clap. So I've, I've set up a clap and a kick up here, all in the same, as long as I have the, you know, the color information different, we can see those quite easily. Chords, the clap, and then the kick right here as well. And it allows for very quick and effective uh, editing. You know, able to see all your, all your notes in one spot. It's pretty nice. So there we've got it. Chords, kick, and clap. Nothing too fancy here, just making a little noise to get you with the idea. So, let's say I want to edit maybe just the uh, kick without moving anything else around. So, what I want to do there is hit the lock button on the clap, lock button on the chords. They stay there. I see where they're positioned at. They're just slightly grayed out now indicating that I can't do anything with them, which now I can move my kick. And any any anything that I'm working with in here, as long as that's the one that's highlighted, that's the only one I'll hear. So right now I'm hearing the kick. If I lock that guy, unlock the clap, grab the clap, that's the only thing I'm going to hear. So let's unlock these guys. And one additional feature that I wanted to share with you is you can actually take an audio loop. I brought an audio loop and placed it inside here and use it as a background indicator if you wanted to work with it to set up a, a MIDI pattern and use the, um, the wave file as a kind of a guideline, as it were. And the way you do that is you select it. under the background menu. So now I've got an audio wave file layered right behind or right within the same clip as my other information. So I can go in here and if I wanted to line my kicks up with that audio source, I have um, an easy indicator on where that might be as well as the claps. Let's set those guys up 
by following the audio waveform. If it was uh, maybe a synth chord or something like that, I'd be able to come in here and, of course, you know, match up my chord pattern to whatever that pattern was. So a nice little handy way to kind of bring an, a waveform into your MIDI project here and, and do some uh, really good layered editing.